Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to another video, y'all. My name is Shanina. If you're new here, hey girl, hey. Welcome to All Things Shanina. So happy Monday, y'all. Hope you guys had a good weekend and I pray that your week goes well um, as well. <laughs> so y'all, it is early. I've already gotten my shower. I haven't done anything to my hair though. It's supposed to like rain or whatnot according to the weather app. It's supposed to be like... Um, a little bit of rain throughout the day or whatnot so i'm not gonna curl my hair i'm actually hoping that i can get it washed today so that is the plan today is to wash my hair but before all that i do need to go to the store before i go to the store i need to do some work on my computer so that's why i'm sitting right here i've got a a new agent that is onboarding that wants to start with the roadside assistance program I've got another, somebody sent me an email not that long ago, so I'm going to check that out. I think they just put in an application, but then they sent me an email about something, so I'm going to check and see what that's all about. And so my original decision as far as stocking up household and all that stuff was to go to Walmart, but y'all, I keep going back and forth. Like, I don't want to go... I would have to catch an Uber. Like, I could catch the bus halfway there, and then there's like... A little bit of a walk so I was just like well, it's supposed to be raining off knowing today so I was like well how much is it gonna cost so when I check the Lyft app um, in the uber app it was gonna cost $15 just to get there and I was like girl I don't have time so I said well let me go online let me go online and go ahead and check out because everything that I was gonna pick up at Walmart it's already in my cart but then I was like you know what I really don't feel like going to Walmart. The last time I went to Walmart, girl, I checked my receipt and in taxes alone, I paid $7 and some change. And I was like, hmm, I don't know if I want to do all that this time. Um, the tax seems to be pretty high at the Walmart. I don't know what's up with that because I don't pay that much taxes when I go to Walmart to uh, Kroger. So, but I was going to go there to go ahead and fulfill my little order in my car. And then I was going to check to see if they had school supply uniforms but i said you know what i've already got four shirts waiting in my amazon cart the same company that i ordered olivia shirts from last year i'm gonna go with them again this year um so i've already got the color that she's gonna need for this year um so that's already ready to go so i'm not gonna waste my time going to walmart because i feel like if i go to walmart i'll end up spending way more money than i planned so it's probably safer for me to just go down to kroger and plus i can just walk there and catch an uber bag and it'll be like eight bucks right so that is the plan for today so i don't know how this vlog is gonna go you guys it's probably gonna be just random all over the place just me doing stuff that I do in my everyday life so if you guys want to stick around um, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and why do I look blurry right now oh my goodness okay and turn on your notifications girl so that you don't miss anything that I post to the channel Real quick, y'all, I was sitting here listening to a live. Y'all know I'll be on the Reactors channels all in a live and stuff. Because I do got to get me a little bit of gossip in, you know, every now and again, right? Um, it makes me feel better about my life a lot of times. <laughs> when I'm having days where I'm like, uh, not feeling as happy or as appreciative. And then I go and watch somebody else's life and I'm like, oh, mine's it's not that bad. Okay. So that's why I do that. Okay. But anyways, y'all, so this one particular live, she had played a video of this young lady who had went to Macy's with her friend and her friend decided to steal girl and the girl was so upset. I would have been upset too, girl, if I had, <laughs> if I would have went somewhere thinking I'm going to go shopping and then my friend that I went with decided to steal and now we both sitting in the back room waiting for the popos to come pick us up because my friend wanted to steal, right? Girl, she was her. I think what was making her upset was because she was saying in the video that she had just got good with her baby daddy or whatever, and that that would be the thing that he'll that would um, that would urge him to take the kid away from her or whatnot. So, girl, it was just a really crazy situation. Child, the girl kept talking. The one who was stealing kept talking mess in the background and. She didn't really care that the girl's kid could possibly be taking girl. And I think 
at that point, the girl was just like over it, you know, and so you heard all this tussling and stuff in the background. She had set her phone down and it made me think about a time where I went to Walmart years ago when I was pregnant with Olivia. I was good and pregnant, too. And I went with the homeboy slash co-worker and his girlfriend slash friend, right? And we went in there. I had no idea. Listen, I thought when we went, I thought they just wanted to roll with me to the Walmart and stuff because I was going to get baby stuff. I had no idea that when we were going to Walmart, their whole intention was to steal. It wasn't, that wasn't relayed to me on the way there. You know what I'm saying? So, girl, so we get in Walmart and I'm not thinking nothing of it, right? I'm just doing my thing, buying my diapers, getting everything that I need for, for Olivia before she gets here because that's what I did. Like once a week, I went and did a huge baby shopping for everything that I thought I was going to need. And, um, girl, so we in line, so we walking through there, you know, I done had to pee a couple times because when I was pregnant, that's all I had to do was pee and throw up, girl. My morning sickness was literally every single day throughout the day. I didn't even gain any real weight during my pregnancy. The weight that I gained was just Olivia. Um, girl, so we in the store and we just walking around and stuff. I'm not thinking nothing of it, girl. I'm grabbing my stuff. So it's time to check out. So we checking out, but I'm noticing in the basket that there's like tags that are like not connected to anything. And we had so much stuff. Well, I had so much stuff in the basket, right? So I'm still not thinking of it because it, I mean, there's been so many times where I've gone to Walmart and there was like trash in the basket or a hanger with no clothing attached to it, stuff like that. So at the time... I literally wasn't thinking anything of it. So I'm checking out, you know, I'm still seeing these tags or whatever, but I'm checking out and stuff, you know, and we go out and everything. And girl, we start walking through the parking lot to go to this other bus stop that was behind the Walmart because we was going to a different direction and that's the bus we needed to get on. So girl, we walking through the parking lot and the homeboy slash coworker, he starts pulling stuff out of his shirt, girl. And I'm thinking like, what's going on, you know? girl it was just it was just I don't know I guess it didn't really hit me until we actually got to the bus stop of what happened because during this time they were also trying to get pregnant so I didn't know what was going on honestly okay so we're walking through the parking lot and he's pulling stuff out of his shirt and stuff and sticking it in, in my bags and everything girl because they carrying some bags I'm carrying some bags and he's sticking stuff in the bag so we get to the bus stop and he's pulling out more stuff, more stuff. And I'm like, yo, what's up? Now I'm asking questions because I'm like, what's up? Why are you, <laughs> Why are you just pulling stuff out your, out your shirt? Like, what is up, bro? Child, tell me why he said all that stuff was for me. <laughs> I was like, what? Girl, I didn't know how to react because I had no idea. Him and... His girlfriend, who was also my homegirl, they had all this stuff. Because she started pulling out stuff, too, after he was done. She was pulling out stuff out of her purse and everything. And, you know, we're joking. Like, oh, y'all, congratulations, Lelani. He's like, this is all for you. This is for your baby. And I'm like, what? Girl, when I say I kept looking at my watch after that, I kept looking at my watch like, Lord, let this bus come on. Let this bus come on. Let this bus come on. Because we're still technically in the Walmart parking lot, right? So I don't know if the people that are looking at the camp, they're going to figure it out and try to catch us before we get on the bus. The girl, I was scared, okay? I was scared. I was good and pregnant, about to have Olivia, and I was scared as hell, okay? Because I had no idea that... That's what they were doing the whole time we were in there. Y'all, let me tell y'all how I'm like, it's when I go inside of a store, I'm focused. You know, even if I go in there with somebody, if I'm in the store and there's something that I need, that's all I'm focused on. Like, I'm not sitting here wondering what they're doing or whoever I'm with, wondering what they're about to pick up and all that. Like, none of that even crossed my mind. Like, I've never been in a situation where... I had to 
keep an eye out just in case somebody was going to do something crazy like that. Like, I've never been in a situation like that. So, girl, I was scared, honey. I was scared. But anyway, y'all, what would you have done, okay? If you had went to Macy's with your home girl, and turns out that she was stealing and you wasn't, girl, what would your reaction would have been? What would your reaction have been? y'all i survived the kroger okay <laughs> oh my god oh okay i am so glad that i started buying these little tote bags or whatnot because i live upstairs so girl there was a time where it felt like i had a million bags coming up and down going up and down the steps up and down the steps back and forth to the uber but what I've done is I just carry all my little tote bags with me. I try to fill them as full as I can get. That way I have less bags to bring up the steps. So now I'm tired. But it all worked out. It worked out as planned. I'm thoroughly pleased with my shopping trip. Even got a little bonus of some markdown meat. I did not have my hopes up for that, y'all, because that little section over there varies by the day. Some days they don't even have anything over there. But, yeah, so I looked up and um, got some markdown meat or whatever. Got everything that I needed. I just bought what we needed, y'all. I didn't do, like, a stock up, like my usual stock up where I'm buying, like, three or four things of the same thing and all that y'all this time because i'm really trying to stay on budget i just bought what we needed okay we were out of we got one roll of toilet paper no paper towels i'm on my last what few drips of ajax so i don't have any more of the liquid um dish detergent out of feminine products girl so <laughs> I said, you know what? This is not going to be a stock up trip. This is just going to be a regular grocery or a regular shopping trip, household stuff of everything that I need. And then next time, <laughs> next time will be a strictly, uh, will be strictly stocking up, you know, canned goods and all that other kind of stuff. Cause girl, I'm tired and I don't feel like going back out to get anything else i ain't trying to go in nobody's store i went in the dollar tree today so i'm gonna show you guys what i picked up from there not a whole lot just some stuff for the kitchen and then whew, i guess i'll show y'all what i picked up <laughs> from the croaker oh my goodness even though we just did a haul yesterday grocery haul yesterday but this is literally a part of my day and that's what I film is what happens throughout my day most of it anyways y'all it's I have a pretty uh laid back life like I don't there's not a whole lot going on here some may actually think that it's boring <laughs> I'm cool with it it's peaceful I have a peace of mind and that's what I you know want the most I don't care that i don't have a whole lot going on here you know i'd rather have a peace of mind because baby when you don't have a peace of mind that is the worst who when your mind cannot be at ease that is just a whole nother thing and i've worked really hard to 
allow myself to have a peace of mind, even if that meant meant that I had to cut off people or not associate myself in different uh, <sighs> types of scenarios, you know, just changing, just, just growing up, I guess, you know, when you gone through so many things, so many chaotic things, so many situations that was filled with drama and it wasn't you causing any of it or putting anybody in those situations when you realize that it's just the people you're around not saying everybody that I hung with was bad people it's just you know there was a lot of times where all they although they weren't bad people we just got caught up in a lot of crazy situations and I do not miss those days at all like literally I do not miss those days of going to the club all the time and getting as drunk as I can get. Like, you know, just being young and dumb. <laughs> I don't miss that at all. Like, I love my calm, peaceful, boring to what others may, you know, feel uh life like literally you know i don't have any type of drama whatsoever that involves anybody else you know that any type of drama that was brought to me from anybody someone else girl y'all know what i'm trying to say i'm tired okay i'm tired i'm only tired because i walked um there oh man it felt so good outside y'all i thought it was gonna be like spanking hot because even though it's been raining a little bit it's still been humid and thick or stuffy um so that's how i thought it was gonna be but girl oh my goodness that was like the best walk like it was so breezy the sun like the sun is literally just now coming out it's two o'clock it's just now coming out but early this morning when I went, you know, or started off anyways, because it, it, I didn't go straight to the Kroger. I just walked around for a long time before I actually got some business done. So, because <laughs> it just felt so good, y'all. It felt so good. And sometimes being in the house all day, it can get a little clammy. The walls can start closing in. You know, you'll have your days where you feel like the walls are kind of closing in or whatnot, so going outside even if i'm not going anywhere like i can't just go outside and just stand outside like i'll go crazy because there first of all my view is a view of the back of a uh, shopping plaza so it's like what am i going outside to do other than stare at some bricks you know what i mean so i gotta move i gotta walk somewhere you know um girl but yeah, y'all, so I got me some um, lunch. I didn't eat breakfast today. I need to pop myself for that, spank my booty, because I said that I was going to start doing breakfast today, every day this week. That's why I bought those croissants and all of that, and I'm already slipping. So I got some, um, the deli they were putting stuff out. They were putting, starting to put out the food or whatnot. And um, I went ahead and got a couple of chicken wings. Girl, $8.99 a pound. I said, yeah, let me get about six of them things. I don't know how. <laughs> Look, we try to stay under a pound, okay? Girl, I don't need a whole fill up. I just need a little snack, okay? I just need a little snack. Throw me like three folding wings. Uh, well, I got a six piece. Give me six of them wings and a handful of potato wedges and we good. All right, y'all. So this is what I picked up food-wise from the Kroger. I'm about to put this meat in freezer bags, but I wanted to just show y'all what I got really quick. So they had chicken breast that was marked down. So y'all know I got the cheapest packs that they had. Okay. And it works out because there's three breasts in the pack. There's three of us. And these look like some pretty hefty breasts. So 607 for that one and 602 for this one. Y'all see how big the breasts are? Girl, that'll be good for one person can eat that for, you know, 
anyway pork chops these are normally uh well they used to be 10 for 10 right now they're 10 for 12 because inflation um but this one was 609 and then this one was hidden up under a whole bunch of ham that was it looked like it needed to be throw, thrown in the trash, girl. All of them were gray, okay? Gross. But anyway, y'all, so this was the other one. Y'all have heard me say in the past that I'm trying to get rid of the pork. You know, I'm trying not to eat as much pork. Y'all, those are my wishes. I do want to cut back on pork and beef. Like, I really do. I have did that before years ago. I ended up losing a lot of weight doing that. All I ate was chicken, ground turkey, and seafood. But man, listen, like I said before, although I would love to just cold turkey cut those out, back then I had to come to the realization that back then it was different. I didn't have a family back then. It was just me. You know what I mean? It was just me and my ex. And she was on a mission to lose some weight. So she cut out beef and pork. And I was not on a mission to lose weight, but to support her and what she wanted to do, her journey, I decided to do it with her, right? With no intentions of losing weight whatsoever. I didn't even exercise, none of that stuff. She did all that stuff. I just cut out the beef and pork to show support. Girl, I lost so much weight, but I was also walking a lot too. Now that was my exercise. I walked everywhere, y'all, like literally. Bus and foot is how I rode through Atlanta, okay, back in the day. Um, before I got a car and all that stuff. Even in between cars. That's what I do. That's what I do now. So, anywho. Yeah. So, that I would like to do that. <laughs> but every time I go to the grocery store, I'm like, girl, do I pay $6 for some pork, for example? Or $20 for a roll of or a pack of chicken? Like, I, I, girl. Mm, okay. Listen. Don't judge. Okay, we just trying to survive in this thing for real, for real. So, got those two. This was eight sixty three. The original price with a card was twenty two fifty five. Of course, if you don't have a Kroger card, y'all, if you don't have a Kroger card, just ask the cashier. I promise you, they probably have one. Just just a random card just sitting up there, or they'll swipe their own. Just ask a cashier. Save some coins. Okay. Um pack of chicken these are chicken thighs so i'm gonna split this in half when i first started buying these bags the chicken was regular size but now they're like mini pieces of chicken it's so weird so there's about <laughs> the last time i bought one of these there had to be at least about 15 16 pieces of mini thighs in here like it was crazy anywho i'm gonna split that in half these were when i first started buying them with the regular size chicken, these bags were $4.99. That's why I started buying them. Y'all remember? If y'all been watching me, y'all remember, right? Now they little and they done went up a dollar. So now they $5.99. So I grabbed one of those. Flour, I told y'all I needed to fill up my flour jar. I don't need a big bag of flour because we don't use flour all the time like that. Um, got some sugar. I just wanted to fill up my container of sugar. So got that. And these were on two for five. Y'all, I need to spice up my coffee a little bit. I'm starting to get a little bored with it because I use the half and half and it has no flavor. It's, it's cream, half cream and half milk. So it doesn't taste like caramel, hazelnut, vanilla, fruit, and none of that. So I need some flavor. So I was going to get the, um, the little hazelnut or ice. I mean, uh, what is it called? Salted caramel. That's what it is. Salted caramel, the little syrup that you could pour in a coffee. But it was $5. Well, it was $4 and some change. I rounded up to $5, right? So I was like, well, uh, I've been going to use that up in about a week or so. And then I'll be back here trying to buy another one. So I was walking around, scoping the scene, you know. And I noticed that they had this on one aisle for two for five. They were, they were out of the caramel one. Um, so I got the chocolate and then over in the ice cream section, these were two for five. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'll just get this because I was going to pay $5 for one. Well, no, I wasn't, but that's how much it was for one little bottle, you know, of syrup that's going to be gone in about a week or two, a week and a half, you know, but these will last so much longer. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I got that. 
I got potatoes because I didn't get potatoes last time. So I decided instead of getting the russet ones, I got these gold potatoes. They were the same price as the russet potatoes, like $4.99. When I picked up all my household items, I needed one more thing for the mega event. It's a buy five mega event. And so I got ice cream. Honey was on me the other night asking me why every time I go to the store, I never get anything that I want. I'm always getting what stuff that they want. And I don't know why that is. But Shanina did that today. Shanina got some butter pecan ice cream. Then I picked up some more eggs because again, I told you guys that I was going to try to eat breakfast every day this week, which means a lot of eggs because I like to eat I'm not a big cereal or oatmeal person, so I like to eat like egg, sausage, stuff like that. Oh, speaking of, and I did get a sausage. I put it in the freezer. Why I did that? I think I was starting to put the stuff up and then decided to, yeah. Anyway, so I did get this as well. splitting up the meat out of five packs of chicken well it was two packs of the chicken breasts y'all these breasts are huge look at that so three in each bag then I've got some pork chops the pack of pork chops I split into two so I put the dark meat um because we can bake this one night so there's three in there and then the other four was the white meat so I'll put them in there I could probably fry those one day and pork chops the 10 pack split those up into two and then the bag of thighs i split those up into two y'all see how little these are these are thighs y'all these are baby thighs so, yeah. y'all so this is everything that I picked up um, for the household and this is literally everything that I had in my Walmart shopping cart but I came out better at the Kroger because there was some weekly deals and I had some coupons for some stuff right um, so this is what I picked up like I told y'all before I only picked up what we needed so this is not necessarily a stock up kind of haul this is just what we need um, because we are out of some things like this Ajax got a bottle of that um, the price has gone on gone up on that I think it's like two 49 or 269 or something like that now but I had a 50 cent off coupon for that so I got that the Mr. Clean was um, on a mega event deal for 
249, I believe. Either 199 or 249. <clears throat> so I got that. This time I got the Febreze one. The last one I had was the Gain. Speaking of Gain, we need more laundry detergent. Um, we are down to chow i think like a half a bottle and then i have some pods that for some odd reason the honey does he's uh, girl i wish he wasn't so brand loyal okay because i do have a bag of the arm and hammer laundry pods but for some reason he won't use them girl anyway so this was on the mega for 9.99 either 8.99 or 9.99 this is the 64 load so 90 92 fluid ounce liquid um toilet paper i was going to do the scott tissue that was on the mega event but this was a dollar cheaper so this was 8.99 got that and then got some paper towels this is normally 11.99 but it's on the mega for 9.99 and i had a one dollar and fifty cent coupon off for that so cool and needed some more band-aids had a 25 cent off um for that so this was 1.99 and then i had the 25 cent off coupon um, the hun is out of multivitamins, so he needed more of these. I'm so glad that I walked around again because on the shelf that these are supposed to be on, it was empty. And there was a markdown tag for $4.50. And as I was walking over to the toothpaste, there was like this end cap, like this little hanging display with some of these on it. So I was able to grab one. So yes, because I was going to get the one a day which is like $9.99 so I was like girl no so I was happy to find these I normally mix these in with his daily medicine so for a long time he didn't even realize he was taking a multivitamin I had been trying before he you know got sick and everything I had been trying to get him to take vitamins daily but he is not a, a big pill taker you know he doesn't really do Tylenol and pills and stuff like that so it was really hard to get him to do it and what would end up happening is that the bottles would go unused and they would then ex expire, right? So when he started taking medicine every day and I was basically setting it, up, setting him up for the week and dividing everything that he needs for each day, I just threw in a multivitamin. And it took him about a few weeks or so to realize that there was one extra pill <laughs> in his pill um, case that didn't look like any of his uh what was in his medicine bottle so when i told him what it was you know he didn't fuss about it or try to be stubborn about it because he's very stubborn when it comes to going to the doctor and taking medicine and all that so child he ain't got no choice okay so got him that the toothpaste is on a weekly deal it's only the colgate 3.3 ounces that are 99 cents so we are out of toothpaste the only one that's left is what's in the bathroom so i picked up two boxes of the colgate i prefer crest but i also also prefer cheap okay or frugal i'm gonna stop saying cheap because it kind of has a negative tone to it i'm gonna say frugal that sounds more upbeat and uplifted right so frugal because i'm frugal girl i'll go with the 99 cent okay so i got two of those i have some of those uh cbd oil uh wax melts left so walmart actually was trying to wait until these became in stock they're out of stock and has been out of stock for about a week or excuse me a week or so now on walmart so i'm so glad that I decided to just go to Kroger because I knew that they were going to have them. These were like two something. And then I picked up a Vagisil. Um, this was on the Mega for $2.49. And then I picked up three boxes of these pads. So these are the ultra thin pads. And I picked up three boxes because they're on a weekly deal for $1.99 each. So cool beans for that. Oh, and I think I actually had a coupon I think it was like a dollar off when you buy two you Kotex brands, something like that. So that was another reason why I got that. And we were out, girl. Okay. Oh, hello, Papa. Uh huh. What, 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 oh, hey. Oh.